Hi friends! In this video, we will see how to register Matrix Sparsh M2S with Matrix Navan CNX200. Matrix Sparsh M2S is a mobile soft phone application running on Android-based smartphones, tablets having Android 2.2 or above, and iPhone as well as iPad having iOS 7.0 or above, delivering a full array of Matrix Navan CNX200 features to the user on the go. It offers advantage of making and receiving audio and video calls, sending and receiving instant messages, IM, and SMS. Let us understand how you can use this application with the help of a scenario. The company XYZ Limited provides sales and support services to its clients. Navon is installed at XYZ Limited. Their service engineers, Mr. Alex and Mr. Zaid, remain busy with service calls in the field. Alex has an Android phone, while Zaid has an iPhone. To use their mobile phones as extensions of Navon, they must download and register Matrix Sparsh M2S with Navon. Alex must download Matrix Sparsh M2S from the Play Store, and Zaid must download it from the Apple Store. After installing Sparsh M2S, both Alex and Zaid must give device ID of their smartphones to System Engineer, as their smartphones would be authenticated by Nivon on the basis of this unique device ID. To fetch the device ID number, Alex and Zaid must open Sparsh M2S application. Accept the Emergency Service Disclaimer. Tap Settings. Search for Device ID. Please note if Sparsh M2S application is reinstalled in iPhone, then Device ID will change. To make Sparsh M2S work, it is necessary to configure the IP addresses of Nivon, which is internal server address and external server address, in the Sparsh M2S application. Alex and Zaid must get these IP addresses of Nivon from the system engineer, SE, of Nivon and configure it in their Sparsh M2S application. Sparsh M2S application uses internal server address when Alex, Zaid are making calls from inside the office, whereas it uses external server address when they go out of office and make calls from outside the office. Alex and Zaid should select Automatic as user location. Doing so, the application would itself determines the location of smartphone. Alternatively, Alex and Zaid should select In the Office when he is in the office and Out of Office when he is out of office. Save the settings. We are done with settings in smartphone. Now let us see the configuration to be done at Navan's side. System Engineer needs to configure the device ID given by Alex and Zaid along with other parameters in Navan. System Engineer should log in to the web GUI, Jeeves, of Navon. Enter, by default, LAN Gateway IP Address 192.168.2.56 at address bar of web browser. Log in as System Engineer. Default password 1234. Click the Extensions tab. On the left pane, click Extension and Feature Codes. Assign SIP01 and SIP02 to Alex and Zaid, respectively. Enter 3301 and 3302 in extension field, respectively, for SIP01 and SIP02. Enter Alex and Zaid in the extension name field, respectively, for SIP01 and SIP02. Click Submit. Now click SIP Extensions, Alex 3301 and Zaid 3302 assigned by the system engineer, appear on the tab. Click Alex 3301 to configure the required settings. Check Enable SIP Extension flag. By default, the authentication ID is same as SIP extension number, that is 3301. By default, the authentication password is 1234. A system engineer can assign another authentication ID and authentication password as per his or her requirement. We suggest you don't use default authentication ID and password to prevent unauthorized access. Click More to view all the parameters. 
Nivon offers a facility to its SIP users to register themselves from three different locations. These locations can have the same type of devices or different devices. Alex can use a desk phone, Sparsh VP248, at home and office, whereas can use Sparsh M2S when he is mobile. In this example, we have considered that Alex and Zaid are using M2S only. Hence, here click on Device Settings, Location 1. Check Enable Device Flag. In Location Name field, enter Head Office for reference. Select the device type as Matrix Sparsh MS. Enter device ID in MAC address slash IMEI number slash ESN number field as provided by Alex. Select Use Ethernet LAN as internal registrar server address and Use Active WAN in external registrar server address. Select the transport mode as TLS to provide communication security over the Internet. Enable SRTP flag to provide encryption, message authentication and integrity to the RTP data. Submit the page. Similarly, System Engineer needs to configure Zaid's SIP extension. Click Zaid 3302 to configure the required settings. Enable SIP extension flag. Click More to view all the parameters. Click on Device Settings, Location 1. Check Enable Device. In the Location Name field, enter Head Office for reference. Select the device type as Matrix Sparsh MS. Enter device ID in MAC address slash IMEI number slash ESN number field as provided by Zaid. Select Use Ethernet LAN as internal registrar server address and Use Active WAN in external registrar server address. Select the transport mode as TLS to provide communication security over the Internet. Enable SRTP flag to provide encryption, message authentication and integrity to the RTP data. Submit the page. By default, the HTTP port and Sparsh port are the same, that is 80. In case you want to change Sparsh port, click on Maintenance. In Administration Settings, search for Sparsh port field and change the value in this field. Same value has to be entered in Sparsh M2S application at Internal Port and External Port field. Once the system engineer is done with these configuration settings, he should log out from the Jeeves and inform Alex and Zaid to use the application. On doing the configuration in Sparsh M2S and Navon, as explained above, Alex and Zaid will get successfully registered with Navon. Alex and Zaid can now call each other. Since Sparsh M2S support video call as well, they can make video call by pressing the video icon in the call screen. Alex and Zaid can also send instant messages to each other. Alex and Zaid can send receive SMS from Sparsh M2S soft phone using mobile ports of Nivon. To know how to send receive SMS from Sparsh M2S soft phone, please watch our video SMS over IP in eternity. Hope this video will help you configure Sparsh M2S application in Nivon. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team.